1973 final was a contest between Kent and Worcestershire. The Kent team were full of stars, such as Bob Woolmer. I bowled him. Oh, a great blow that for Kent. The spectators are in the air. That's really the wicket they wanted, coming right on the tee interval. Other key players included Alan Knott and Derek and Underwood. Run order, eight runs have come from six overs. It was opener Brian Luckhurst and the eventual Gold Award winner Asif Iqbal who set the game alight with some brilliant stroke play. Well, right over the top. Good, firm, aggressive shot there by Brian Luckhurst. Knew exactly what he was doing. And coming back for a third. They set a target that Worcestershire couldn't match. So a more excellent run-in by Brian Luckhurst. He's had a look at the field, he knew there was a big gap over the top of mid-on and he found it beautifully. That's a useful blow. That's right over and into the crowd. A fine blow there against Basil Dolivero. Brian Luckhurst has been mainly on the defence, suddenly launching a magnificent blow that carried over into the crowd in front of the tavern. And Luckhurst launching a cross-bat blow that carried the ball right into the tavern. So now 52 for two, and that's a much more healthy-looking scoreboard. 22 overs gone, 32 to Luckhurst and 10 to Asif. Luckhurst has strike. Hemsley Savala. And that is a four and a very, very good one. It's the first four of the morning. A lovely stroke from Luckhurst. Right across and over the ball. We're coming up towards the halfway mark in the Spencer and Hedges final. Lovely shot. Beautiful timing there. Asif leaning into that. Jimmy Coombs not quite able to stop it with the foot at the far end. Now this Kent pair really launching into the attack. The most wonderful time of the, of the ball um, I've ever seen. And he was very wiry, very thin. Um, and, and extremely quick between the wickets. In fact, it was frightening batting with him because he would be running three for your one. <laughs> so you, you don't really have to get your skates on and you'd have to shout no very loudly in Urdu to stop him from coming. Asif coming back for the third. That's good running. Nice throw and it's Luckhurst's half century and what a really good innings this has been. Some glorious strokes. But above all, a complete awareness of the situation and how to go about it. And what a marvellous ovation he's getting from the crowd. And eventually, Asif gets it away out to mid-off to bring up the 100 for Kent. Fine performance. Supporters in high delight there. What a marvellous sight this is here today. Really exciting atmosphere. Another tremendous cover drive. Shots flowing here. Almost every ball. And look again at this run in. He's after hurry this time. And he's gone. I see he's made it, but Brian Luckhurst didn't. He had a quick look round at the umpire. Well, everybody, and quite rightly so, not only applauding Luckhurst at the end of the innings, but particularly D'Oliveira, and that was a superb throw from D'Oliveira. Well, this enormous crowd rising now to Brian Luckhurst, out for 79. An innings of two parts, getting over the new ball, seeing Kent through from their early problems and then really playing some sparkling cricket. And settling for the 50, takes the one. And a remarkable 50 by Asif Iqbal.
He's taken him on in 97 minutes, and incredibly enough, he's only hit one four. I know the problems of trying to get the ball through this defensive field. A sparkling performance, nevertheless. That's an enormous blow from Asif. Down the wicket, really picked it up from Johnson. Only just a few inches short of a straight six. Bowling, and Norman Giff has done it again. What a very useful bowler he is in this form of cricket. Pushing it in, ending up by York in Nassif there. And that really the wicket that Worcester wanted, but what great entertainment that Asif Iqbal has provided here for this big crowd today. He's made 59 absolutely glorious runs. Not only the pavilion, the Warner stand, people around the popular side. Nice one, Norman, coming from a Worcester supporter. This is the last delivery of the innings. I would anticipate Gifford would try and make it a Yorker. Not got it in the air. It's safe. Hemsley is the fieldsman. And there's going to be a run out. Must be a run out. Alan Knott is run out. So it's 224 plus the single off the last ball. 225 the Kent total. That might just be the catch that wins the match. Asif, away to his left there, and a superb catch. No wonder Omrod looks disappointed. He didn't time it. And he had this wonderful ability to bowl people out. He swung it in, swung it out, and he was a lot quicker than people realised. Ran off a short run up, and he was really sort of lively. And I think that was, uh, he was a, a final round cricketer. Bowling. So Asif striking again, but full marks to Norman Gifford. He's really done a good job there, led that Worcester fight back. The captain pushing himself up the order, coming in at number six, and nobody has tried harder than Norman Gifford. So clean bowl by Asif, 4.33, and Asif now must come in well into the reckoning for the gold award here today. It's got to be run out, <laughs> and that's it. So what a what an end. So the last time we saw Jim Coombs, his bat was tossed high in the air, celebrating a win. Now it's hanging down, and that's what this game of cricket's all about. You're up one day, you're down the other, and this has very much been Kent's day here at Lords. They've won this Benson and Hedges Cup final by 39 runs. Super Kent is about right. Tremendous game of cricket they've played here today, culminating a wonderful run for them in this competition. But now, the Golden Award. The great man who I think is probably the quickest man on his feet in the world in the world of cricket at the moment he's a good batsman he's a good bowler i've seen better catches <laughs> my man my golden man is rc And no question that Len Hutton was absolutely spot on there with his choice. What a match Asif has had. What a match both sides have had here today. And what a day it's been for the 25,000 spectators who flocked up to 
St John's Wood here and seen a wonderful day's cricket. Uh, essentially we had a very good balanced side. Uh...